tenses. So you have present tense, pa past tense, and future tense. Um, there are no signs for those exact words, for those exact meanings. Um, so we're just going to go through for um, on the list. So for present tense, you have now, now. So you take two Y's and pull down, now. For past tense, you have before. So there's two different ways to sign before. Before or before. So you can take your dominant hand, put it inside your non-dominant, palms in, pull back. Before or before. Long ago. When using long ago, you want to think of something that happened years ago. Okay, so for example, long ago, I lived in Oregon, Ohio, which was when I was in high school or when it, from birth to high school. So that was a long time ago. So long ago. Okay, if you want to talk about something that already happened, like it happened to you two years ago, three years ago, whatever, you're going to do before. The sign for um, touch finish, what that means, what touch, what touch finish means is you, in your sentence or in your conversation, whatever you're doing, you physically went to that place. So you cannot sign, I, and, or, I took a test on Friday. You could sign that, but you would have to sign a different to show that it was in the past. If you wanted to sign that I flew to Chicago last week, then you would use touch finish. So you're going to take your dominant eight, hit the back of your hand, fives that are palms in, flip to palms out, touch finish. So in the, like the sentence I said, so last week Chicago, me flew to touch finish. I went to Chicago last week. The other one to show for past tense that you already did something is just finished. So Friday test me take finished. Again, two fives that are palms in, flip the palms out. For future tense, there are five of them I use now. With each of these lists, there are others that you can use or other variations that you can use, um, but these are just signs that you can incorporate in your sentences. Whereas there are instances where you can use the rule of nine to show um, time passing, time happening now, as well as time that it will be happening in the future. Um, and we'll go through that. It's a whole nother lecture that you'll either see on video or you'll see in class. Um, so for future tenses, you have an F. It's going to start here at your shoulder on the dominant side, and it's going to push. And I'm going to kind of back up so you can see future, future. The palm is facing to the non-dominant side. It's here at my shoulder, and it's going to pop up and out. If we're a math major, and this is my angle, we're going to be about a 130, 140 maybe. Future. Now, you have to be careful with this sign, because if you do this, it's to preach. This is is future. You just got to be careful with those. And if you want to say in the far future, you can really stretch it or just the future. Okay. So again, it just depends on the sentence type that you use. The sign for will is will. So you just take a five, close five hand or open B, whatever you call it, dominant hand, get all the dominant, always, always, always the dominant hand is doing the work. So you're here, thumbs kind of at your shoulder area, and you're just going to push, you're going to push forward. Will will okay the sign for happen it's two ones okay you see you can't see can't see through my ones it's how it should be if you're doing this for your ones well that's a d and that's not a number or that's not a no well, it's not a number it's a letter so the sign for happen is two ones their palms up they flip the palms down happen happen okay um so you know what's happening or it will happen again what's happening kind of have that WH face, what's happening, and your hands flick in like this, okay? Um, the sign for later or late uh, can both, it's the same sign, and you kind of bring your elbow up and you push back behind you, later or late. And then the last one, oh, I'm so sorry, the last one is see you later, okay? It's a V at my eye, it's right here on my cheekbone, pushes to an L, hits to an A. See you later, see you later. See you later. V L A. V L A. And it'll take some time for you to be able to just bring it, you know, and, and get comfortable doing that. It's with all signs. It may seem choppy at first, but over time it's gonna become very fluid and, and you know very smooth and um, you know you'll look like you like your awesome sauce. So 
that is it for the tenses vocabulary um, that goes with the number unit.